The House now comes to questions to members, and while question number one stands the name of Sua William Siwa, it is to the chairperson of the Social Services Committee. Uh, the chairperson, as I understand it, is not present in the chamber today, so the question will be postponed until the next sitting day. Honourable members, uh, I have received letters from Dr Russell Norman uh, the Honourable and the Honourable Phil Goff seeking to debate under Standing Order 380 the downgrade of New Zealand's credit rating by two rating, tr ratings agencies, Fitch and Standards, Standard and Poor's. For there to be an urgent debate, there must be a particular case of recent occurrence that involves the administ administrative responsibility of the government that requires the immediate attention of the House. It is for members to make out a case for an urgent debate, not for the Speaker to discover one. An urgent debate is a way of holding the government accountable for an action for which it is responsible. There must be distinct governmental responsibility for the particular case which it is sought to debate. There is no ministerial responsibility for the decisions of credit rating agencies. The fact that questions have been addressed to ministers about such ratings does not necessarily mean that it involves ministerial responsibility on which debate can be founded. The concept of ministerial responsibility for a matter qualifying for an urgent debate is narrower than, the, than, than it is in respect of questions which encompass any matter relating to public affairs for which the minister has an official connection and I refer in that regard to Standing Order 369A. The credit downgrade is an important issue, but the grounds for an urgent debate under Standing Order 380 are not made. The applications are therefore declined. Point of order, the Honourable David Cunliffe. Uh, Mr Speaker, without wishing to revisit your ruling, we ask your consideration of the following. The uh, credit rating downgrade it was specifically related to two matters of public policy. The first, the growing current account deficit, and secondly, the growing net international investment deficit, driven largely by private debt. Mr Speaker, there has been some debate about the responsibility by the government for private debt, but no debate whatsoever from the government about their responsibility for the current account deficit. Order, I, I think the member is really getting into debating issues here, although I accept he is linking them to my decision. But could I point out to him, the standing order requires a matter, a recent matter, uh, that the government has been involved in. The member mentioned a couple of issues. One, for example, order growing uh, uh, debt and, and growing... Uh, uh, and th I'm sure members of the House would argue they've been going on for some time. They're not a matter of recent occurrence. And that is why, uh, that, is why that the matter... Uh, can th those issues cannot meet the requirements of Standing Order uh, 380 because they do not involve uh, any recent ministerial action. And the member's own words make that very clear. Uh, the Honourable David Cunliffe. Seeking your clarification for future reference, Mr Speaker, and your guidance on whether the current year's budget would be a recent occurrence within the terms of the Standing Order, because you will recall, sir, that in the order. current... No, Mr. No, Speaker, order. That the current... Order, 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 order. The member will recollect the budget was presented to this House some time back. Urgent matters uh, are matters that have occurred very recently. And, uh, and while I, I don't... Any, please understand, I'm not saying that the matter the members have raised, either Dr Russell Norman or the Honourable of the Opposition, have raised. I'm not saying it's not an important matter at all. It's just it doesn't meet the requirement of Standing Order 380 for an urgent debate. Members have asked questions about it because questions can be lodged about that issue. But it doesn't meet the requirements for an urgent debate for the business of the House to be set aside under Standing Order 380. I call on Government Orders of the Day, numbers 1 